Hey everyone, today is Tuesday, May 4th, 2010, and I'm Ryan, your host for Tuesdays on the Baby Beaver Bunch. This week's topic is our first girlfriends and what they were like and, I don't know, what the experience is like, I guess. Um, so, here we go. My first girlfriend I had in 8th grade. My first girlfriend was in 8th grade. Um, the second semester of 8th grade during, uh, well I liked her and then I asked her out kind of during Valentine's Day because we were going to be each other's Valentines unromantically and then I kind of realized that I had a romantic interest in her and this was still when I was in the denial, no I'm nothing but a heterosexual female stage. but. At this point, I thought I was pansexual, not heterosexual, but I'd still never been with a girl. She came out to me as bisexual, kind of, and then I was like, wow, it's really weird that you're, you're, you're bisexual because that's the only reason I didn't ask you out is because I thought you were straight. And then she was like, are you asking me out? And then I was like, oh, oh, um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So. Basically, uh, we started going out for like a day, and then she started seeing other people, guys, behind my back. That was fairly emasculating. And then oh, like a week later, a week or two weeks later, she broke up with me without me knowing that we were broken up. And I was pretty much convinced, I convinced myself that I was so in love with this person. I wasn't. Um, uh, it was just like my hormones were raging, you know, the new era of coming out, experiencing all these new things. So I was really clingy and needy and expecting, overly expecting. And she was, uh, does, didn't commit at all. Uh, basically, was like one of those kinds of people who would just want no complications, no strings. I was pretty masculine in eighth grade, in the beginning of the year. And then when I had an interest in her, one of the reasons she would say that she didn't like me is because I was too masculine for her that she liked feminine people. And so I changed myself for her. She molded me into a person who she would find attractive. That didn't really work out for me in the end. It led to me telling her that I love her like every day and then her saying it back when nobody was looking at first and then uh, saying it back behind closed doors only and telling everyone else that I that she hates me and then eventually telling me that she hates me around everyone and when there was no one around only only when she was absolutely sure that there was only us two and she was like I don't know I don't know what was going through her head but she would only ever tell me that she loved me when we were one on one, nobody else around, and the rest of the time that she would tell me that she hates me. It led to me blindly pursuing my heart's desires and her using my heart to fulfill her lustful desires. And also I fulfilled my lustful desires. So it was kind of like an abusive relationship on both parts, but it wasn't really a relationship. So that was my first girlfriend. After 8th grade, she moved to Minnesota, um, which is one of the reasons why I was so heavy set on getting her to have a feel the same way that I felt for her. And she promised that she'd stay in contact with me, but she didn't. Um, and I knew she did purposefully <laughs> because I just... I have my resources, but I think I'm pretty sure we're on better terms now because I, well she has gotten back in contact with me. She uh, got my number from MySpace 
and she apologized for using me, and I apologized for being a needy, freaky, clingy person. Okay, that's it. Um, oh, by the way everyone, happy early Cinco de Mayo, because I know tomorrow is the 5th of May, and that's what Cinco de Mayo means. Cinco de Mayo means the 5th of May, so... Happy Cinco de Mayo! Um, yeah. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye guys.